So today we are talking about harmony. And this is a continuation of um, pitch recognition, harmony. How do you differentiate a tenor from an alto? Now this song, I'm playing the melody. Now, which part is this? Can you guess? And which part is this? Can you guess? Now it's easy. There is a rule to harmony. There's a basic rule to harmony. And if you have been following this course, we talked about intervals. Intervals is the distance between one harmonic note and the next. So when harmonizing, you go from, let's say, you want to know where your alto is. So we take the melody. Whatever soprano is singing, you count three notes back and that gives you alto. Three intervals, space. So we have, this is soprano singing the melody. Now mind you, anybody can sing the melody. Uh, soprano can decide to sing the tenor part, but Whatever part soprano is singing, alto has to count three intervals behind. So this is la. So alto will go to fa. So you count. You look for the notes. La. One. So fa. So fa is a third behind la. Tenor will be a third below alto. So you have, this is alto. Fa. So tenor, you count. One, two, three. Fa, mi, re. So that gives you tenor. Re, 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 do, la, so. Now, if you don't know how to sing tonic so far, you, you can just listen by here. Three intervals below soprano, you have alto. Three intervals below alto, you have your tenor. Sometimes, based on the chords, I don't want to complicate it now, but sometimes, based on the chords, the interval could be four. And it could be a minor third. Might not be a major third. Based on the chords, you will hear it. All these things, you might not know all these theories, but you will hear it in the music. So, you will hear... Something like then you have and this is the rule I'm going to give you if you don't know tonic so far. Just check your neck. Check the tension of the notes that you're singing. So la 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 The one with the highest tension is your soprano. The one, the other parts that feels like the tension is not as high is your alto. And before you go to alto, in scoring, when I used to score music from by here, I find soprano, then I find tenor. Once I find tenor, alto is just in between. So you find the highest part. Then you look for the part that is like. It sounds like, oh, this is the deepest. You get that? And then you now look for the one in between. Alto is also is always the one in between. So you 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 get 
And there's another rule in harmony, overlapping. You you another rule in harmony. You cannot allow overlapping of parts. I see where singers um, choose the highest part to be in alto. No. The highest pitch must be in soprano. So to avoid overlapping of parts, the highest pitch must be in soprano. So highest could be melody. So if that's the highest, the next harmony note in terms of tension in um, tonic so far, just count three notes behind. So for and if soprano is not melody, let's say soprano is singing the alto part. If the soprano chooses to sing alto parts, it means alto is the highest pitch for that song. And the next one will be the next tension. And tenor will be and it could be tenor first. Tenor being the highest pitch, which is taken by soprano. The next one, the next pitch below that Alto, and the lowest one. Now we're going to sing uh, this song, and I want you to figure out which one is soprano, which one is tenor, which one is alto. Just with this theory that I've, I've shown you, I want you to figure it out yourself. Listen to these three people sing, and they're going to sing the harmony. I want you to figure who is singing the soul? This is soprano at the middle. This is alto here. This is tenor. I want you to figure out who is taking what. So, James, can you do the song? Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more Everybody go. Bad. See, I want you to figure out which is what. So look for which one is soprano. Is it Jesus? Or now you just take your time. You can rewind to figure it out. Another thing that is important. Uh, I just heard it now the release when, when when you harmonize you have to make sure that there's alignment you see see my finger you can see it well this is soprano alto tenor bass that's alignment so when you sing your t's your s's your ch your p all those last consonant sounds you make sure that everything aligns. You don't want your harmony to sound like So you... I put my faith in Jesus. Everybody at the same time. And he never let it... He won't. So let's do that. One, two. I put my faith. So let's go again. Yeah, then I read in Jesus. One, two, three, go. I put my faith in Jesus. Go. He's never let me down. Faithful through generations. So I would he fail now. He won't. He won't. Yeah. 
So to have a blending harmony, you have to take care of your attack. Attack is how you start. Release is how you end each phrase. And basically, we are talking about consonants. Because you can't really, you know, uh, oh, you can't really measure as much as to align them and make sure that, you know. So, and then another thing in harmony, you have to take care of volume. You can't have something like, you can't have your harmony like this. No, you have to make sure that volume is the same. So, soprano volume, the same with alto volume, the same with tenor volume. Another thing in harmony, you have to make sure that everyone is singing with the same technique. So nobody's doing some slurs, some arpeggios, some, you know, reefs. I put my faith in Jesus. You can't do that when you're harmonizing. You do. I put my faith in Jesus. He'll never let me down. Oh, he's never let me down. You do it the same way. Nobody can be doing vibrato when other people are doing straight singing. I put my faith in Jesus. No. If, we're, if there, there's nothing wrong with vibrato, if you're going to do vibrato, it must be agreed upon. Everybody must do vibrato. And phrasing. If somebody is doing, I put my faith in Jesus. Another person is doing, I put my faith in Jesus. There's a general rule in phrasing. If you are singing a slow song, make sure that all your notes are tied to one another. If your song is slow, phrasing should be legato. So, I put my faith in Jesus. So, everybody, you do your phrasing the same way. You do your attack and release. And you do your volume the same way. Your singing techniques the same way. Another thing is tone. When you sing in harmony, to have a blended harmony, you have to use... You have to... Um, even out your tones. So, you have tenor, you have soprano, you have alto. Soprano is the highest pitch when you sing harmony, which makes them to have the tendency to, um, to be light. Now, alto is in between. Alto is a bit light and a bit, you know, bold. Tenor, because, you know, even though tenor is the highest um, male pitch, when tenor sings with soprano and alto, there's a tendency that they sing heavy. And you don't want that. So, in music, you have to choose your texture. So, as a music director, that's what you take care of. You 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 have to determine the texture of your song texture is just like tone combined so you have tone light or heavy or in between or in texture you can have a light textured music you can have a heavily textured music it means there are a lot of elements in the music maybe some harmony you know your harmony is uh it could be homophonic Homophonic means the harmony is going at the same time that you could be polyphonic. Polyphonic means the harmony wants is like different melodies, but they are going point against point. That's why they call it counterpoint. So you have um different different tones. So you can in harmony you cannot have different tones. You can't. All you need to do is adjust your tone to blend with the rest of the choir. So there's nothing like, oh, this is how I sing. This is how I sound. I have a heavy voice. No. If you come to the choir, you you uh, make your heavy voice light. If that is the texture of the So you serve the music, not yourself. So the texture of the music is light. I put my faith in Jesus. Normally I want to say, I put my faith in Jesus. You know, that's heavy. But because for the sake of the music, you make it light. You are not using chest voice. I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me down. The same thing. So, can we do 
can we check our tones and, and see? Tenor is not too heavy. Soprano too, you know, you have the tendency to be light, but you have to use chest voice so that you, you know, tenor, you take a little off from your depth. Soprano, you bring a little depth there. Alto, I think alto is like the middle ground for <laughs> everything. So, let's go. Can you see? Alto is still a bit bold. And soprano is still that is still light. And we, you don't want that when you harmonize. This is what I'm talking about. So harmony is beyond, oh, you got your part. Oh, I got my part. No. There's so much going on when you harmonize. So let's go over it again. You um sing with your chest voice. It means lower your larynx and fill your lungs. So Oh, put my up. So you drop your sound to the chest, to air. You get, so let's go again. One, two, go. So it's it's simple. Just follow all these rules and you see that your harmony works better. So the rule again, soprano at the top, alto follows, tenor follows. If somebody if someone tells you otherwise, tell him buddy said they are wrong. Even if the person claims to be a doctor of music, the ask them where they got the doctorate from. Because you can't overlap your harmony. This is how harmony works. So, to the next. See you. <laughs>